if y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Some of that royalty. Here, yeah, y'all. Before we get into this video, this is what I need y'all to do. To all the people that saying Nick go live, Nick go live, Nick go live. I'm always live. If y'all can see the what the goddamn hair, yeah, the sub the goddamn hair, yeah, that's what you do. Go to twitch.tv.com. Go to my channel, uh, which is Royalties World CEO. Hit my profile and simply follow me. You will see when I'm live. Yeah, they. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? With the goddamn hair, y'all. I don't care, Shonda. Y'all gonna hit these chips. These are my favorite chips, too. I need to hold back. <clears throat> Listen, y'all, before we get into this video, I just want y'all to know, man, I appreciate y'all for your um, class participation. Good class participation, you know what I'm saying, in this dancery. And, uh, you know, I have no arguments here. You know what I'm saying? I just want y'all to know I appreciate y'all. Continue. Don't quit. Continue. Because y'all know I'm giving y'all nonstop fire. Stop content. the cap. Because if you think I don't. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. You capping if you say I'm not giving you A1 content. You know what I'm saying? So tap into this content. By the end of this uh, wine bottle, it's my birthday. Y'all just spam happy birthday in the comments. I'm going to put my cash app down there if you're feeling gracious. But... I'm about to leave in a minute to go get my little bottle. Girl, by the end of the night, I'm going to be like this in the chair. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a great time. But anyway, we about to get into Messy Monday. Let's get it. It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a key key. First on the dock and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you want to sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P I just forgot. Although TT can sleep through a thunderstorm. And London can sleep through a hurricane. Let me put the sound in my headphones. <laughs> A messy Monday. I changed my mind, friend. Now y'all can't hear. What the fuck? Yeah, my up my computer updated itself. And who asked it to? Not me. Happy M Fing birthday, Neek. Thank you, friend. Whole lot of lot of going on. Hey creeps, and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP, yeah. and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? All right, you guys, we have made it through another week. Now, I know this Monday might hit different because some of y'all are back in school. Make sure if you are, stay focused, get your grades, and get up out of there. Don't go in there with no mess, no drama, fighting, talking back to the teachers. I know we love Messy Monday and we love drama, but we love other folks drama so don't bring drama on us okay so i wish y'all the best year the most successful year if you're going to college and you're a freshman even if you're returning to college and you're a junior senior sophomore whatever um i wish you the best uh stay focused stay safe pick your friends wisely it's okay to say no just know you are there for a purpose and it is to better you your future and your kids future okay i love you guys we gonna get on into this mess because it's some. He said a word without mess to talk about, but before we do that, I gotta shout out my friend and that Puda. Hey, bitch. Hey, Puda. Girl, thank you for being the first to come in on my Twitter post. You got my post notifications on, and that means so much to me. And if y'all don't have them on, fuck you. No, I'm just playing. I love you a little bit. Okay. But uh, thank you, Puda. I'm just taking this time out to show you my appreciation because you always appreciate me, girl. And that is a real friend. So with that being said... Hey, bitch. All right. I'm over here looking real godly in my all white. Come you on, me, godly. Bitch? So we're going to go on again to y'all favorite part of the show, and that is the shit, the sugar honey iced tea. Because you girls 
love staying in some shit. First for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Brooklyn Frost and her mama, Monique. Woo! Yeah. This right here is messy. Now, how you and your mama gonna argue on the internet? I ain't never gonna argue my mama on the internet. I'm not gonna call my mama out on the internet, and if I do, you ain't gonna know I'm calling out my mama, and I wish my mama would get on this internet and Real call shit. Out. Well, I can't say that, because my mama, she, she, that's my mama. I love my mama. Let me stop saying I wish she would, because if she did, I'm gonna just be quiet and let her do what she do, but my mama never do that, because she gonna never do that. My mama ain't that messy. Oops. But anyway, you know we in the last and evil days, because they said daughters will turn against their mothers, and mothers against their daughters, and family against the family, and all that. We is in the last and evil days, because I never want to <laughs> Did this what happened? And then where is that son of hers? Where's the Sean Frost? Oh, he out here making videos with the girl. <laughs> I know you lying. They Sean, what you over there doing? Hey, Trey. <laughs> anyway, you need to go check out your mommy and sister. So for those who don't know, the mama and the sister had went on their internet Instagram stories and this is what the daughter Brooklyn had wrote. I'm washing my hands with a lot of people and their things. So nobody knew who she was talking to. That could have been anybody, but I guess it hit Dr. Holland and the mama said, boop, boop, boop. And she came out and she said, don't wash your hands with the same people you are foul to. The same people who love, support, and protect you when things aren't going your way. Not only did the mama stop there, she said, I taught my kid, one, don't be a fucked up person. You attract who you are. Two, your success in life determines how you treat people along the way. Now, I strongly agree with mama. The way you treat people and the what you put out in life is always gonna come back to you. And sometimes people who do treat people wrong, we be like, damn, how all the up people getting blessings and record deals and this and that? Because the devil will bless you too, making you think the way that you live it. Child, when I, Ray, you scared the shit out of me. I thought you could hear me. I caught you like I couldn't hear you. When I say you scared the shit out of me, girl, I almost stole off on you. <laughs> These chips are about to go flying. What's up? Um, do you know what my palette is? You didn't, did you get one of the new ones? Yeah, I got the new one. Yeah, I got the new one. Yeah, I got the new one. So you didn't use the new one. Then maybe one of the new ones. Well, go in the bathroom in there, and it's on top of the, uh, the brown thing. Uh, try to be as quiet as possible. Your mother. Okay. It's right. So then, with all of this on this earth, all we're done. Oh. Hey. You gonna be fucked up? Can I get an amen, somebody? Amen. Hey, <laughs> Don't be sitting here basing your faces. Oh, come on, somebody. Oh. Oh, what somebody else got? Oh, because what they got may not be for you. Hey. And what they got Hallelujah. Y'all better stop it out here. Stop it out here. Stop worrying about everybody else. Stop worrying about what they're doing. Stop worrying about what they got. Stop worrying, 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 worrying. Stop worrying about all that. Ooh, I just had to take out a church for a minute. So then the daughter Hallelujah. came back and the daughter said, your parents can really be the reason you go through depression. Just toxic for no reason. And they never see their wrongs. Now, baby. Try. Now, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes parents she ain't try. She absolutely right. Parents can do things because they feel I'm the parent and you're supposed to do what I say. And that can make you feel certain ways because sometimes a parent isn't always right. You know what I'm saying? But if you go back and look at what the mama said, she said the same people who love, support you, and protect you when things aren't going your way. Sometimes us as children, and I will put myself in this place. When I was growing up around 13 and up, you know, 13, you start smelling yourself because you're mm. a teenager and you feel like you're grown and you can talk how you want to talk. And then you're in middle school and your friends is giving you advice and you, you ain't grown, baby. When I was around that age, I start to feel like I knew everything. My mama just was always on me. Mama, okay, I know. I get it. I get it. You can't do this. Your friends ain't good. They ain't no good friends. Don't do that. Don't talk bad. Why you want to go out all the time? Blah, 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 blah. 
her alone. I thought it was I mean, just nagging, nagging, nagging just to be nagging. I felt like my mama came home just to argue with me. Me and I'm like, what the fuck? Can there be a day without you jumping down my back? But All let right. me tell you something. The older I got, I mean older as in 21 and up, and I really started understanding like sometimes you knucklehead, hard-headed mother children get to 21 and you still acting like you 18. But thank God, glory be, when I turned 21, I understood. All and the older I'm getting, I clearly the older I'm getting, baby, the understanding hitting real different. My daddy told me a long time ago. He said, and I quote, "You ain't gonna never have no friends." I was like, "What?" He said, "Because of how people are versus how you are." You know, he was basically talking about you know how kind my heart is, blah blah blah. People will never be able to match that. But that shouldn't be my focus anyway. You need to be focused on yourself. And when Ray went to school, she's 14. But when she went to school, I told her, you come before anything and anybody. So, yeah, girl, I'll go to that party. But my homework come first. Oh, yeah, we could go out on Saturday. But I got to take care of my chores first. Uh, Whatever it is for me, I got to do first. Then I deal with you. So I'm going to teach them to take care of them first and then everybody else come last. Because I was the type to put everybody else first and put myself last. Understand all the things. But I was told to put myself first. That auntie that used to get on my nerves. Oh, the bad auntie who just nagged that, that. Eat all your food. Do this. That mean uncle. My crazy mama. My aggressive mean all daddy that. All, all that. that I thought was mean and aggressive then they really weren't mean they were just instilling things in you for when you get out in this world that come on Jesus have your back these people in this world aren't gonna be your friend Fact. that job don't give a fuck about you they gonna replace all. you so they're that trying to teach really you respect they're trying to you. teach you come on, responsibility Jesus. they're trying to yeah. teach you how to keep your cool yeah. they're trying to teach you how not to fuck up in certain situations yeah. and make the best decisions they're trying to teach you come that everybody on, ain't gonna be the friend that caught himself your yeah, friend they're come trying on, to Gita. teach you Gita. Yeah. But when you young, hey. you don't see it. No. You don't see it. So that to no. you, it's oh, it's hey. depression. Or I'm going through this. Or hey. Mama. So, parents, it is a way that you can still get to your kids and Man. talk to them. And, and, and y'all come to an understanding on how to communicate and agree and disagree with each other without thinking the other is just wrong. Yeah. But, children, you also have to understand your mama and your daddy aren't your friends. They weren't put on this earth to be your friend. I saw in some of the comments that allegedly Monique sometimes be acting like she is Brooklyn friend and not her mama. So I guess now when she try to discipline Brooklyn, Brooklyn don't want to no, take care. And I'm she want to be like, now. oh, now you... Monique done smashed one of her son's friends or one of, uh, a guy her son worked with. And got a whole baby by him. I ain't gonna lie. I probably wouldn't take shit serious that you saying to me. I ain't gonna go. But, you know, whatever. Ain't none of my business. You trying to be a mama. With her. So, we have parents. You also have to understand how to distinguish being a friend and being friend. a parent. So, kid, let your parent be your parent. I'm not saying all parents are like that. Some parents are taking their childhood hurt and whatever and putting it off on you or the baby daddy messed them up so now they mad at you because you look like the daddy. So I'm not saying all parents are good, but you need to know when you're, you need to stop, breathe, and think, is my mama doing this or my daddy doing this out of the kindness of their heart or are they just really bullying me? Okay? So stop thinking like a child because I promise you when that mama and daddy has to go six feet under, you gonna wish you had that mom and daddy back. So just take that moment to breathe. Understand you are a child and you're not on your own. Because if you really want to be grown and you're tired of your mom and they're giving you the... She is on her... She got her own play. Christian! There's the dog. There's the dog. There's the door. If you think you can handle it on your own, and do what you need to do. There's the dog. Well, 
That's all they said to each other. I guess the show must have stepped in because, you know, he's big on social media too. And I guess, he, you know, like, hey, I don't want people in my family business. So maybe they talked about it. They got it under control and they fixed it behind the scenes, which it should have been. Yeah, Shay probably did say, oh, both of y'all motherfuckers not about to embarrass me. Take that shit down, nigga. Fuck you thought this was. Don't ever bring your family business to social media. Like, just don't do that. Especially when you big. Leave it where it's at. Y'all work that out. Don't bring outsiders in y'all shit because it's going to fuck it up some more because then these outsiders who don't know the whole story because Brooklyn probably could be a little uh, stubborn brat, but because y'all are kids and what she said you related to, now you making her think what she doing right or really you're fucking some shit. Huh? <laughs> so I ain't never heard the show say about his mama. People start getting grown and start smelling themselves. Bitches smell like onions. If it ain't about me, get it together. Brooklyn Frosty. <laughs> I don't know. That's it. <laughs> Next with Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Victoria Rose and. <laughs> Next with Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Victoria Rose and John Gabbana. Now, I laugh because I don't know who the fuck these two people are. I know Wong Vic and Boot Gang, and okay. that's what the fuck they acting like. Because Victoria Rose and John Gabbana was baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> but these two are wicked. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know what's going on, but I know last week they said they was calling to quit because she said, ain't no man going to tell his baby mama not to put her in they drop. Be with someone who tells their baby mama to keep her out of our business. With her, which is me. Why would I need to stay out of her? Her, which is me. What? No, I'm not going. I'm not going for that. First of all, you already messed up in the beginning with your baby mama. You ch you was talking to me, telling me I'm the only girl you talk to. Then you go and whoop the whoop with her. It's the whoop the whoop. Then you me. lie to me about it. I'm asking you, how, should, how your baby mama know who I am? How does know you're telling me? I don't know. But after that, she seen our messages in your iPad. And she broke all the stuff in your crib and took your son pictures and clothes and everything. That's how she know who I am. You but know, everybody think, <laughs> well, Vicky, uh, excuse me, Victoria is trying to sound black. But y'all, that's just how she talk, baby. And it's pretty black. She don't look it. <laughs> but I don't think she faking how she talk. I so you already done lied to me about that. Then, then you gonna tell her to tell me why are you telling me y'all business to keep me out y'all business? But you don't pay my bills. Man, I just could have sworn they was so godly. Cause if they was godly, they would have known that First Corinthians 14, 33. He's aggravating as hell and that's the King James Version. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of saints. <laughs> get your, get your, get your Bibles. I'ma wait a minute. Get your Bibles. Let me not say ready when you're ready. Mm, all right. <laughs> First Corinthians fourteen thirty three. It says, "For God is not the author." Of confusion, <laughs> but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Now, if he is not the part of confusion, what is going on in the midst of this situation? Now, she said he told the baby mama to keep them out the drama, and he cheated on the baby mama with Victoria, or Victoria with the baby mama. And that's not a God. <laughs> now, I saw a lot of y'all in the comments talking about, some, oh, everybody go through this. Oh, I just want them back together. Oh, they so go. That's not ghost. This is trauma, toxic trauma. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Ooh. I just want to know, Victoria, <laughs> did God tell you to do this? <laughs> did he tell you to go back? What did he take? Did you talk to him? Did you go in your closet, get down on your knees and pray? Because if you did, stand up! Stand up! Because you prayed to the wrong Jesus. And I'm sure he didn't tell you to go through this. This isn't godly. Wait. She, she went back? 
What the fuck going on? <laughs> who, <laughs> who about to be lit as hell as me? Okay. So they back together. <laughs> oh, that's what she said. All I can say is please keep it in your close friends. Because if you gonna come to the internet and cry about somebody, the least you can do is not go back to them. So if you gonna go back to them, don't come crying to us for sympathy and understanding and love when you gonna go right back to the thing that made you cry. Keep it in your close friends. Don't tell us. They need to get baptized again. Because at this point, it has expired. My God, my God. Well, we're going to leave it in the hands of Jesus. <laughs> I'm rebuking it. And I hope he um, settles it. Okay, well, I guess they're going off of Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Strengthen that relationship. If it ain't about me, <laughs> let's get it. Next case. Next with Shagani Ice Tea, we have Nicki Minaj versus Megan. Now, allegedly, there was an account that was going on. Megan Bettencourt. On Instagram, and it was supposed to be Megan, allegedly. That's Nicki Minaj's ex, uh, what is it, uh, assistant? So, child, she was going. Nicki. Next case. Next with Shigani Ice Tea, we have Nicki Minaj versus Nick. Nicki, your assistant was Megan Bettencourt. Why? <laughs> I would love to know. Why? She wasn't the assistant. Somebody said she wasn't the assistant. Because get it together. Because I need to know. Per her words. Because baby, I don't think Nikki hiring Megan as an assistant. Maybe a, a PR. But not an assistant. It, I think she said because it has been debunked by Nikki that all the stuff is fake. Now, I'm not the one to gossip. You barbed, it's crazy. It was debunked by Nikki that it was fake. I love knowing I'm sending people crazy. You, yes, you. I'm sending you fucking crazy. Crazy hole. <laughs> you better buckle your motherfucking seatbelt, bra. I said, oh, well, damn. She saw the Instagram account. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks it. So then not only there, she turns around and she posts this. My assistant. My assistant, y'all, they went and told everybody that it, it is true I owe $173 million to the IRS. <laughs> and I owe $173 million. <laughs> oh, my God. I hooked up tape with... Okay. And yes, Tay, um, my Tay is so uncomfortable around the man I'm married because he's so, um, and Tay don't ever like to be around him. And Tay was calling that assistant, saying, begging the assistant to stop <laughs> spilling my tea. <laughs> Yo. And first of all, my face looks a little crazy because we didn't get to the other part of my makeup yet, okay? My lips still about to apply my blush, so don't laugh, don't, okay? Y'all, every day I learn that y'all getting dumber and f dumber. The other day I was on Twitter and I saw this whole fan base. They marked up a whole spreadsheet saying, this is what we about to do to get rid of Nikki finally. And they were saying all types of shit. And I just was like, whoa, this is sad, right? So now that it has hit the fan, it was on News Weekly and things like that, Megan now decides to come out like she was oblivious and knew nothing happened. And she said, thank you to everyone who alerted me about the photos that were being stolen and used by a fake account. Making accusations about Nicki Minaj. Lock, <laughs> lock down your privacy settings 
everyone. Not only did she stop there, she goes on and she says, to be clear, I never had a secret life as an ex-assistant to Nicki Minaj. Someone stole my photo and used it in a fake account. Fraudulent impersonation wasn't my envision of being on Newsweek. But hey, scammers gon' scam. <laughs> Something. And Nikki said, come out and she say, oh, you know the fuck. Okay, you know the fuck. Well, well, hey, if you need a job, hit me up. I feel bad, but hey, cheers to Newsweek. Always sit with my. Oh, well, well, hey, if you ever need a job, hit me up. I feel bad, but hey, cheers to Newsweek. Always a silver lining, I guess. <laughs> so, baby, the shade that is being thrown, I really, honestly, and truly believe that woman will allegedly that woman made those posts and Nikki came back and shut her the fuck up. Well, if it ain't about me. Mm. Was some of that stuff true about Nikki? Next game! Next question, we have Steve, we have Kim Kardashian. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck, huh? And, and Pete Davis. Child, well, it looks as though their season is over. To me, I feel it was for the show. I, I really do. Now, I do believe Kanye's beef with Pete was real. But at this point, Kim, I think you're the problem, sweetie. I I'm sorry to say it, but I think you're the problem. Everybody, I was trying to tell everybody this from the get-go. I was trying to tell everybody this is not who she's supposed to be with. She didn't want him. It's fake. Woo -woo -woo. She's just doing this to make Kanye mad. It's stuff that I feel people in higher places make them do to cause drama, confusion, and bringing money and ratings. And that man really did love her and he was going crazy. Because if you look at it now, they're back cordial, they're back friends. He even threw shade <laughs> at the end. That kid Cuddy. I'm waiting to see what Cuddy gonna say. Cause you know Cuddy always like to run her little mouth. So she gonna come back up, she gonna say something like Anyway, but I just feel as though it was just for a TV and mess. You know when lovers fall out and they try to date somebody else to make the other lover mad? I think it was that. But the sources say that um, Kim and Pete are still cool. They're friends, whatever the case may be. It's just they decided it wasn't meant for them to be together, which we already knew that. Now, what I want to know is what the fuck they going to do with that tattoo. People do dumb shit. Some That's all I got. Go the streets, but I ain't got nothing to say about it. Y'all don't hear it from me because I'm not the one to gossip. But anyway, child, Pete just she made an ass out of himself street. talking about I'm fucking your girl and this and that and whoop the whoop and I got her and making them jokes on SNL and now look at you, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Cause they say once you go black, you never go back. <laughs> I don't care how much he try to act like he's down with the barbecue. Baby, you just don't know how to season the chicken. Anyway, okay. well, what it up? <laughs> what that girl you said on TikTok? What it up? <laughs> you're done. Pete Davis, you're done. If it ain't about me, <laughs> let's eat keep it. Okay. Next with Shagani Ice Tea, we have No Cap versus Lil Baby. Now, this is gonna be short and sweet because I don't feel it was more than what it is. I think the blog, the way they worded it, made it seem like it was messy. They said, No Cap says he's never gonna collab with Lil Baby again, but that's not what he said. So if you look at this and in the tweets, somebody asked him, would you ever collab with Lil Baby again? And all he said was no. Now, whatever the purpose was, I don't know. Maybe the funds ain't sent right. Maybe he can't afford them. I don't know. Maybe he's loyal to YB. <laughs> I, I don't know. That but at this point in time, he just said no. He would not collab with him. So, y'all wanted me to talk about this. I got it sent to me several times. So, I guess it is what it is. All right. If it ain't about me, he's not collabing with Lil Baby. Next case. That was just not neat. Okay. Next on Shagani Ice Tea, we have Britney. Now, uh, I know y'all heard about this. It's all over the internet. It's been on the internet for like, like months now. She's been out there, and that is so sad to me that she is out there for over like, what, 0 0.7 grams of THC. That's not even like the weed. That's not perp. That's not kush. That's not a ball. It ain't none of that. 
Um, but she's out there, and I really feel the only reason she's out there is just like a political move, a political prisoner, whatever they call it. I can't remember, but that's what I think it is. I'm not gonna get too much in it because we could be talking about this for days. But what I am gonna point out is how it's fucked up that she was in Russia. Yes, I understand. I see y'all in the comments, or some people in the comments saying, well, it's their law, it's their law, and this is what they gotta go by, and you gotta respect it, and whoop, 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 and yada, yada, yada. Well, she's a 31 year old who was convicted. That nigga shouldn't have ever, ever, ever went out there with no damn weed, with no uh, uh, CBD, nothing. Y'all, people call me so scary and I'm okay with that because I'm very, 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 very cautious about what I do. And I mean every single move that I make. And baby... Who the fuck want to go to Russia? Let alone go to Russia with THC. Let alone go to Russia with... I'm the one to say, bitch, we leave in LA, but we bought this weed here, so we should be able to put it back on the plane. Oh, but I'm not. Mm -mm. But it should be legal to go back on the plane. But see, it's not legal to go back into that state that isn't legal. So guess what? All that weed I just bought, I'm going to just post it up for somebody to have it because who about to go to weed for a couple grams? I mean, who about to go to jail for a couple grams in a whole nother state? See, then it becomes trafficking. Y'all got me fucked up. And no, ma'am. <laughs> Russia? Baby, halfway don't want to go back with my bags. Yeah, and she was playing ball in Russia. I don't give a fuck. She, anything she had that was illegal in America in some places, she know damn well she shouldn't have put on that fucking uh, plane, man. Oh, that's terrible. And you black friend. Ugh, sad. Of smuggling sad. THC into their land while she was with their basketball team, and she had 0.7 grams of THC, right? So now they have sentenced her to nine years in prison. Now let's look at this girl right here who was 19, which is also an American, and she got caught in Russia and found guilty for smuggling 17 grams of THC. 0.7. 17 grams. While she was why y'all like to why why people like to walk around like they free y'all. If bitch watch your words. If everybody hmm If you have a understanding of what freedom really is, you would know how free that you really not. You wouldn't know that the freedom you think you have, you really ain't that free. And of course, nobody wants to live their life with limitations. Nobody wants to throw away that little bit of weed that they just bought. <laughs> but is it worth your time? Is it worth getting in trouble? Is it worth being swatted over? For me, no! Me getting pulled over by a cop and being combative with him. Is my pride worth my life? The answer for me is no. But see, we all different. Girl, I would have broke that damn THC thing just to make sure it wasn't in my bag. I don't give a fuck if it's CBD or not. But see, I went through a situation where I was riding through Georgia and went to jail. For some damn CBD. Y'all. That shit ain't no hoe. Like if, if it's dealing with weed. At all. Especially if you traveling to another state. A state. That don't deal with. With THC. And you got the nerve to go into a motherfucking country. Another country. Come on y'all. What is it? Cross your T's and dot your eyes. This is fucked up. 
I'm not surprised that Audrey Lorber, 19-year-old American, smuggling 17 grand. I'm, I'm not surprised by that. I mean, let's look at the picture, shall we? What is y'all surprised? This is everyday life for us. That's why you got to cover your ass. On a family vacation. Now, here's the game. She was released on a two months detention and paid a fine of 15,000, what is that, rubbles? I guess that's what they call they shit over there. Now make that make sense. Make it make sense. Now I know the timing is different. They're going through a war with um, Ukraine and you know the US is. Also, this is right, right now. Oh, y'all have no idea. Russia is one of our biggest enemies. Russia. We don't fuck with each other. As in the U.S. and Russia don't fuck with each other. Okay. We have allies like Ukraine and shit. That Joe Biden, I think, just funded $4.5 billion to help their, uh, if, I, if I am correct, to help their government keep flowing. I mean, we got homeless people here, blah, 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 right? The odds are already against us, y'all. <laughs> we don't have odds. As bad as I don't wanna say, bitch, you fucked up. You fucked up, friend. And she know it. She knows she did. Everybody else is acting like she didn't. She fucked up, y'all. That was one of the hugest mistakes she ever made in her damn life. Oh. You know, alibis with Ukraine, Ukraine or whatever the case may be. I get that. But Did you I, just say alibi? Is, you know, alibis with Ukraine. That nigga said alibi. Ukraine, Ukraine or whatever the case may be. <laughs> I get that. But I think they're trying to make an example out of her. And this, yeah. like I said, this is a, she's a political prisoner. And as you heard, they want to release her if we release somebody that we have over here. I the guy that they want us to release is over the guns in America or over the guns in general, over the guns and the um, artillery in general. If we release that man, he liable to put a nuke to kill every fucking body. They not releasing him. And I don't think that have shit to do with black and white. They just not releasing him. Because obviously, if they do, it's going to be a problem. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me just release the guy who is over the guns and shit. Like, hell no. No. We need to keep him. So, all of America just get blown up because of anybody. There's a huge casualty that the U.S. ain't willing to sacrifice for. They not. And I think it's not for black or white. You know, it's, man. I guess, or whatever the case may be, of this. So, it's like they playing tit for tat. So, don't sit here and say that that girl deserves that when this woman right here got off after two months and paying 15000 And she had 17 grams. Make it make sense. And then you got these other. She don't deserve it. As a black person, I just feel like she should have died across her T's and dotted her eyes. It was very, very, very imperative for her to do that. Especially in the climate of the world right now. And the fucking, um the 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 ways of the government right now it just it was a bad time friend you looking for the soup baby it's in this cabinet uh beside the season i put everything in there racist redneck her folks, time is if trump there's okay, no biden finally says something they she like, don't deserve any of that don't get me wrong she don't deserve none of that but god damn if she just it wasn't worth it 
it was not worth that was a clean. It was not worth her um going into another country with that, y'all. And y'all, we that's when you have to hold yourself accountable. That was not smart. It wasn't smart, bro. It wasn't smart, man. I and, and shit happens. It does. I just oh God, I would have I'm the type to empty the bag and repack the bag so I know I didn't put nothing in there that wasn't supposed to go in there. Also, I ain't even the one to go to Russia, bitch. No, I'm, I just stay in the U.S. Because I know U.S. don't even like my kind. So, girl, in Russia? Man, what? He would have been got her out. Child, that racist man ain't worried about her. This is what he had to say. The way the offer for Brittany Griner and Victor Bout that Russia has put forward, where they'll trade this arms dealer's 25 years for arms dealing all over the world for the WNBA player and also, uh, I believe, a former Marine is being held there. She went in there, loaded up with drugs into a hostile territory where they're very vigilant about drugs. They don't like drugs. And she got caught. And now we're supposed to get her out, and she makes a, you know, a lot of money, I guess. But we're supposed to get her out for a absolute killer and one of the biggest arms dealers in the world. Killed many Americans, killed many people. And he's going to get a free card, and we're going to get her. She knew you don't go in there loaded up with drugs. And she admitted it. I assume she admitted it without too much force, because it is what it is. And it certainly doesn't seem like a very good trade, does it? Anyway. He not wrong. People hate the truth. He not wrong. The loaded up with drugs is the biggest uh, exaggeration I've ever heard of in my life. But the fact that she went into there with drugs in general. Y'all, it don't matter if it's a gram or not. Do y'all know for a gram? Do y'all know for half a gram of certain drugs how much time you could get? I, you got to be facing time to know some shit like that. And I guess the fact that I went through my little, you know, legal situation, I don't play by no fucking drugs, bro. I don't. Because <laughs> I know what it'll do. I know what it'll do. And it's not worth it. It's not worth traveling with. It's not worth a lot. No, she wasn't loaded up with drugs, but she had drugs. That's just his terminology. But to be honest, a person who kills innocent people and has dealings with guns isn't worth anyone. Mind you, it was a white doctor that went over to Russia years ago who has, who's still over there. And I forgot what he did, but he's still over there. So this ain't about race solely. I'm going to say that. I don't know that Amanda chick or whoever she is, she might've went around a time where they wasn't beefing with the government too. But this is a, 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 a situation where you had to choose between a damn terrorist or somebody who knew. Uh, you know, bro. Let me ask y'all a question. Would y'all walk through a fucking courtroom with a damn weed pen? Would y'all walk through a courtroom that's fully armed <laughs> who checked for everything? Courtrooms check. I don't give a damn. They check for everything. Because fuck a plane. Would you walk through a courtroom with a weed pen? I, I would love to know. Okay. I definitely wouldn't. <laughs> fuck no. A bitch, I used to smoke cigarettes. When I used to have to go to court for speeding tickets, I hide my cigarettes outside in the bushes because of the lighter. And people and and people pack they they blunt in the cigarette pack. 
I ain't got time for them to stop me because they want to check my cigarette pack and my lighter. And all. I ain't got time for that shit. Girl, I used to go in there with nothing. If I go in there with basketball shorts on, nothing. I don't want y'all checking me. I don't want to go through that damn uh, metal detector. I don't, don't want to do none of that. See, that's me, though. I always like to. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, nigga. Hold on. Damn, bro, you just checked it. Bitch, I'm going to check it again. Fuck. You not doing the nine years. I would be. I say that to people all the time. You wouldn't be doing the time. It would be me. Okay, you not doing that. It would be me. So shut the fuck up. Give me 10 minutes. Let me check my shit. I'll be all right. Uh-uh, I don't like to play by my freedom, bro. Fuck no. We ain't as free as y'all think we are. What? I'm yeah, I'm reading the so comments. Blessings over there for her, and I hope she gets out because this is just ridiculous, and this is insane, and it's just downright fucked up. You didn't say anything. <laughs> I'm confused. You didn't say nothing. Uh, what, what's your name? Eighty-eight. So, uh, yeah. If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this case. All right, you guys. That is all I have for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First of all, okay, we have Blueface versus Rock. Now, child, we already knew it was going to end up coming to this level, which I hate it did because they are so toxic. The thing that already bust windows out at his house, stole shit from him, and fought the mama. Now, it only right that now y'all fought. Yo, why are you hitting that man? Yo, he's not doing nothing to you. Why are you hitting that man? Welcome to Hollywood. Oh, he ended up hitting her again. No, 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 I didn't no, know no. that. Oh, dude. Damn. Oh, oh, damn. Damn, damn. Yo, you guys just dropped the phone. You now, the way that they got into this altercation was because, I guess, Blueface went through her phone. When he went through her phone, he said he saw her talking to multiple guys. And so he called her out on it. I guess she got mad that he went through the phone and then they start fighting. Now, this ongoing two soccer is draining to me. Because didn't he say when they got their last argument that he don't go with her? That's not his girlfriend. They just friends. So why are you going through her phone anyway if that's not your girlfriend? Stop telling her the streets one thing and then pillow talking to her another thing. And then what disgusts me was that they, after the fight, they then get on social media. She in the bed with the same street clothes she was fighting him in. And that's just dirty. Of the world. Don't laugh now. It's funny. What's funny? Not laughing. Yes, she is. Not laughing. She done hit me in my shit. You got a nice little shiner. Because you're not saying nothing. That's the only way I can get you to talk. You're going to beat me up in public and shit. So, what's up? What will it take for us to end this? Nice and pleasant. She's not pleasant. Yeah. A hundred thousand is pretty pleasant. Yes, it is. You're going to be set up. You're going to get you. you mm -hmm. me? Huh? Mm -hmm. What you want? So you're just going to leave on your own rec recognizance? What are we going to do, Kel? You want a title fight? You want to shout out the title, Kel? Like, you want to you wanna box with me? Nigga, you wouldn't need... If he ain't love her, y'all, he wouldn't want to her phone. He, this shit's so toxic and crazy. <laughs> or something like, what are we doing? Hey, y'all shut the fuck up. Y'all don't know this whore. He was so hurt. I don't know her. Okay. I barely, huh? I barely know her. Can you fuck on it? Went through her damn phone. It's ugly. She fucking CEO at the damn jailhouse. Why are you lying? And they come bail her out. Can you stop? She's sending the CEO to hotel. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Mr. Hughes, too, yep. Yeah. And he got a wife. And she probably gonna see this. Yo, Mr. Hughes. 
Yep, New Orleans. Nigga just snitched on Mr. Hughes and shit. Like, what What type of bitch? Like, what? You fucking with the CO, cuz? You was in jail for 20, 48 hours. How you gotta bail the bitch out when she fucking the CO? Like, cuz couldn't give you a get out of jail free card? Why are you saying like, you fucked me? Like, why do you have to say that? He didn't fuck you? So how you know what hotel you was staying at? His mama comes out and she say, let me know if you need me and I guess his sister to come over there. And I'm like, bitch, what the fuck? What? <laughs> then she whoop y'all ass already? What y'all gonna do? Get beat up again? <laughs> Stay uh, okay. the fuck out of The mama is really stressing me out at this point. Like, girl, that's not your boyfriend. That's your son. Now, I understand you gotta take care of your son. But bitch, if your son don't need your help, stop trying to insert yourself into a situation that you're not supposed to be inserted in. The nah, that mom is a weirdo, bro. She at the top of weirdoism. Well, the piece is not fitting and it's you, okay? Goodbye. Anyway, so after that, the police are now investigating what had happened and what's going on about the altercation, which could be bad. Even though I don't really see him hitting her in the bill, she did all the hitting. I just saw him trying to keep her off of him. So hopefully he don't have to do no time. She don't got to do no time, which they both really should do time to separate each other from each other. At this point, fuck it. Because she turned around and she put this up. Cause he asked her what, how much can he pay her to leave him alone? And she said, ain't nothing taking me from you. You might as well send me to a psych ward. And if somebody say that, baby, you need to run. You need to run. That means this girl is gonna stay with you by all means necessary. This sound like some, if I can't have you, nobody can and I'll kill you any type shit. And if Facts. you find that attractive and sexy, then Facts. have it. The I reason, will say. They both in a dangerous, dangerous, dangerous situation with this little love thing. Very dangerous. Baby, if you need the medicine, is that what you want? You don't need the medicine. London up. She need to take some more medicine. You said she eat? Okay, if she done, I give her medicine, okay? Might as well not even get involved in the investigation because whatever they say. Yeah, this dangerous, y'all. What they going through is very dangerous. Very they dangerous. ain't gonna stop these two from being with each other, so they might as well just they sick as hell, hell yeah. Leave it alone. Just like mama need to leave it alone because then she came back <laughs> out and she's followed up with hopefully when all this stuff blow over and Ooh. the cops you know, this resurface video from January 2021, of course. You know, if they let you go, oh, whatever damn. the case may be, you need to find you a girl like Corla Ray, not this trailer trash. And I'm just like. Oh, ah, the ghetto. <laughs> the ghetto. Uh -uh, get that off her. <laughs> and when I saw him at the own um, BT Awards in person, that motherfucker is fine. So fine, we good dick, and I know that toxic sex be <laughs> They need for each other. They both crazy and need to be somewhere in somebody white coat in a white padded room. If it ain't about me, <laughs> let's kiki. Next cat. He definitely got Next a cut. Okay, we have <laughs> Glow Chase. Now, for those who don't know who he is, he is a social media influencer. And what he does is he goes around and he gives wow. money to people who need it. Or, you know, he just does it in public interviews or whatever case they be. I think on TikTok and YouTube. Don't get me lying. I don't watch him. I don't know. He probably don't watch me either. They so got into it last night. Whatever. So this is the recent situation that he done got himself involved in. Glow Jays. He's a social media influencer, best known for giving wads of cash to strangers. At the end of the day, you made this twenty thousand off me and my children. But one homeless woman says that it is all for clout and that she hasn't received most of the money he's raised on her behalf. But while she cries foul, he says. She didn't deserve the money. But mind you, you make money off of putting this woman on your YouTube channel, which is which is monetized, right? This lady, how you doing? Fine. I'm amazing. You sweating? Hey, what's going on? Hard work. I don't know where to stay right now. We go from room to room. What happened in order for you to get, like, you know, in your situation? I lost my place in 2020. I was trying to get back on my feet. My dad passed like a year ago. Wow. So he passed from COVID and he was like, he was all I had really. I'm just trying to really get back on my feet. So now you got a GoFundMe and a honey. These people donated to you thinking it's gonna go to her. No matter if the woman got a job, not, you feel like she's not putting the effort to get a job, whatever the case may be, all that shit you said. I put on my story like, hey, if you have any job opportunities for her, please email her. I dropped her email and I said, email her right here. 
So you telling me you don't want to work. But, you know, me still being a good person, I'm like, all right, whatever. And I said, but look, I, I got to see you working. I got to see you doing something. You got it. And she didn't want to do none of that. 100% wanted to be her. But when you get on the internet and bash me, that's when I said, I'll cancel the whole thing. I've, I've stated that many times. I never said I want to keep the money. And anybody that really gets money knows 20000 is not any money. So that almost a little bit offends me if people think I got to finesse somebody for 20 bands. She can take it to court. She can take it to whoever she want to do. We, I got lawyers and she can do your thing. To pay for that hotel? All that bitch, where the fuck you think $3,000 fucking dollars is going to go? That ain't no fucking money. When you got to pay for a hotel for 31 fucking days, that, that 3000 ain't going to be there. Is you stupid or is you dumb? Obviously, you're dumb. Okay? So, you telling this woman how to spend the money that you gave her. We ain't telling you how to spend your money. We're not telling you that. And then for you to sit there and make a GoFundMe and tell her the requirements she need to have to get this money, that ain't what you said in the GoFundMe. That ain't what you said. Well, y'all, if she meets these requirements, I will give it to her. You didn't say that. And she later learned that Glow Jays made a GoFundMe on her behalf. It said the funds would be used for getting her children, quote, clothes, food, housing, and getting her a vehicle. Donations totaling 20000 $140. Like, if you didn't need... Justin Keefe is organizing this fundraiser. If you didn't need that 20000 he should have gave that 20000 to that woman. Like, you... Talking about, I'm almost offended. You the one who out here stealing GoFundMe money, not nobody else. Like, you should have taken that money and, and did goodwill with it. Like, I asked her, did she want certain shit she didn't want? Whatever, that ain't got nothing to do with you. Take care of what you're supposed to take care of, and that was your job. You had one job, and you just, just fucking blew it. The GoFundMe states that the That's funds, stupid. quote, will be given directly to her when the fundraiser is over. Everything that was on her page was linked to him. Went and that linked to me. She does admit Glow Jays gave her about $3,000 days later. She says it mostly went to her hotel bills. First of all, my room is $95 a night, okay? So with the 3000 like I was trying to explain to him, but he was not listening to me, I had already owed $500 on that, okay? So I paid the 500 and I put, um, I paid for two, 25 days on my room, you know what I'm saying? And the rest of it, you know, I bought like necessities like Pampers, White, Milk. Oh, I'm gonna have to go for me, return y'all y'all money. That is fucked up that you are controlling this woman's money because you feel she ain't standing up to your standards. Nigga, fuck your standards. Real shit. Who give, even if she is. I hate a motherfucker that kick a motherfucker while they down, boy. I hate that. Fake it. Well, you out here doing fake shit for um, YouTube too? Then fuck both y'all motherfuckers fake it. Take your money from her video. Delete her video and all the other fucking videos using from them motherfucking people. Give them a motherfucking cut. Because she didn't fight it feel like she was out there looking for a job i didn't feel nigga it's hard she got kids who gonna watch her children while she go to work yeah. you? i surely damn oh. don't think so and ain't the fuck she ain't responding to the people that i sent to her nigga who the fuck are you that he acting like he daddy other stuff. if you don't do uh what i tell you to do then uh that's a stipulation that's gonna be deducted again okay, like bitch Oh, people, girl. Y'all, this video only got to an hour, child. We about to go to part two. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all here, yeah. <laughs>